Hi, this is Rocky Hall with the Lassen County Oath Keepers, and I'm in Susanville, California at the OMG Coffee House. And these uh, owners right here are the ones that are getting it going. And I just feel like their cause and their movement and everything that they are about is incredibly awesome. And so I know that most of my audience is patriots. But if you're ever in the Susanville, Lassen County area, I'd love for you to come by. And what's your address? 2314 Main Street. 2314 Main Street, right across the street from Les Schwab. And so this is going to be a coffee house and a few other things, and I'm going to have them go into that as well. But I'm really, really behind what they're doing here. And they're allowing us to have our constitutional class here. We have a six-week constitutional class and they've opened their doors to us and said oh they I just think that's awesome and so they're allowing us to do that so as uh, the Patriots out there that I'm talking to you know what that means to us right they're pretty good folks they got they got good morals good scruples and they're they're awesome I'm gonna start with you young lady if you want to introduce yourself and get a uh, give a brief description of who you are what you're about and what you're doing my name is Carmen Straw, and I'm Native American from the Cloverdell Band of Pomo Indians. I'm a survivor of domestic violence and drug addiction, and I have come to Lassen County to bring back what I have learned to share with others so that they can walk in, in prosperity and sustainability and empower them and strengthen others in this community to do so. Awesome. Do you want to uh, say your involvement in the OMG Coffee House and what does OMG stand for? I am a co-founder of OMG and it's a subsidiary of Ministry of Motion. The things that we do in the community through Ministry of Motion are uh, to promote community unity, to touch and facilitate and empower people to connect with other um that work in other programs in the community to try to plug people in and mm -hmm. and just really bring a strong sense of our culture here it's very important to us oh you guys are awesome and you young man would you like to introduce yourself give a big brief description of who you are what you're about and what you're doing really appreciate the young man comments thank you since I'm 51 but, um, Jimmy Jackson and um, most of my life has been involved around uh, health, sports, and fitness. And uh, Carmen and I, we met in Sacramento. Hence the fitness anytime shirt. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Yes. <laughs> <This is laughs> no, it's your <laughs> plug. So we're getting a plug for anytime fitness. <laughs> and uh, anytime fitness is here in Susanville, California, and you are a part owner in that as well? No, I'm a fitness manager in China. Though. Okay, mm -hmm. you're the fitness manager at Anytime Fitness here in Susanville, and it's an awesome place to go as well. So I'll give that one a plug. <laughs> go ahead and finish Appreciate it. Appreciate that. No yeah, worries. Since we are global, actually. We're over 3,100 3, worldwide. So, awesome. Yeah. Um, and so what I was saying is uh, that Carmen and I, we met in Sacramento at a, at a church and um, became friends and we started doing some ministry together. And in July of this year, uh, we will have lived here three years. You actually came up a couple months before, yeah, I think. Just a few months. But uh, in July will be my third year. And interesting circumstances that brought us here, but, it, you know, um, there's an attachment to. Susanville, um, our relationship with with Carmen and her family, and um, it was one of her daughters um, that was crying out because she's now 25, mm -hmm. and she went to high school here, okay. and so just in that short period of time, she's had over nine, right? Yes. Nine of her friends that have passed away, tragically, and so um, she cried out and asked us to, you know, do something. She just said, Mom, we need to do Mom, something, to do, do something. something. <laughs> and so <clears throat> we made a trip up here, and, and we started um, praying about it, and um, we ended up doing an event, what we call Revivolution. And this year, this August, will be our fifth annual. And so if we get the word Revivolution from the word Revival and Revolution, and you put them together. And so we're all about, um, as Carmen was saying, coming together on common ground and having a sense of community and getting to know each other. And so a part of what OMG 
is the goal of it is to bring people together, share a nice beverage, a nice cup of coffee, a smoothie, and sit around and get to know each other. And so we want to promote uh, local artists and musicians and just really reach out and tap into um, everything that this community has to offer. And through that, we believe that there's going to be community transformation for the better. So really to help overcome a lot of the issues that here that are here. It's an amazing little town. I, I've grown to really enjoy it and like and love it and um, so the building itself right here uh, the room that we are in is uh, this is in the OMG coffee house mm -hmm. and the and the room that we're in is uh, your daughter's yeah. A uh, little section of paradise here <laughs> and <laughs> she does what in this room her business is heaven's touch massage therapy and it's not because it's heaven, it's really her middle name. That's her legal <laughs> name. Angel and and um, she also does massage Mondays at Anytime Fitness. Okay. And she's a great young lady. And you told me before, go ahead and explain the rooms and what's going on in this building and, and what everything that you're doing here. And what does OMG stand for? <laughs> OMG stands for Our Magnificent Grounds. And we are doing next door, we have a building, there's our coffee shop here. We're um, starting a drop zone center for people in the community to be able to have some carefree time alone. They can drop their children off and just go enjoy dinner, go have a movie, go and just have go to shop, go work, and go out. work out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, it's been, we're just getting ready to start that up. And all of the proceeds from everything that we do here is going into support the local economy, going into, so we do some international um, things that we do with different ministries that we've connected with internationally. But it's all to really promote the economy and the community that we live in. Everything that we do and everything that will come into here will be pouring back into this local economy in so some way or other. The coffee house is in the front. Yes. This massage room is in the back, mm -hmm. and another little portion of the of the uh, building. It, it's a nice, good sized room. Is going to be a place to drop off children, mm -hmm. and then you have an apartment in the back. Yes, and that's from we have a lady that's living in there with two of her children, and she transitioned out of a women's home that we have. We started a women's shelter called Nothing Like Your House, and she went through there. We start it's been open for a year. And she transitioned to the place of being able to move into the apartment. We still prorate her rent. We cover a bit, a portion of that <laughs> and her utilities. But she's paying a monthly fee. Mm -hmm. She's gotten a job. She's gotten her children mm -hmm. back. She's pretty phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And she's just been clean for over a year. And it's just really amazing to see what's gone on through this women's house. And so a uh, portion of the profits from the OMG Coffee House, our magnificent grounds coffee house, is going to subsidize the woman's shelter as well, is what you were telling me, correct? Yes. Okay, would you like to go into that a little bit? Because I just think that part is really cool. <laughs> we kind of have all these... Uh, Projects in the fire. Projects. Yeah, we have a lot of projects. See these sleepy eyes. Yes, yeah. and they're coming together. Yeah. You know, and we're starting to see the fruit of that yeah. labor coming together. It's been what three years, mm -hmm. this year, mm -hmm. and um, the women's house has been sustained privately, completely privately. It's been he says he's indirectly connected, but he's been very much a, a direct part of keeping it afloat. You know, making sure they have the ability to get on Wi-Fi and get on the internet and get jobs, do job searching, right. to attend AA classes, to attend NA classes, to be able to have a safe place to go and know that they're okay, to know that they have food in their belly. It is a faith-based home. Um, we strongly believe that it should be open to everybody. Um, their stay is not contingent about upon anything. Their stay is because they're at a place, and this is the next step in their lives to yes. help them be more productive citizens. It's a good transition yes. place, and mm -hmm. and you don't um, all that you ask is that they be sober and no drugs, mm -hmm. no violence, and they have a nighttime curfew. But none of the program is 
mandated. We just really believe in empowering them through choice. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that takes a week, sometimes that takes a month, sometimes it takes a few months. But we've had more success there than we have had mm -hmm. anything else. It's I would say we have about an 80% success rate, which is pretty phenomenal mm -hmm. for a brand new program that's privately run solely by our finances. Yeah, yeah, and I know of your personal story, as you told me that last week when we had the constitutional class here, another plug for our constitutional class, <laughs> and you, you, you told me a little bit about your personal history and your struggle with a lot of things, too, and you were coming back to Susanville. Susanville seems to be a place that keeps calling a couple of us back here. <laughs> And uh, uh, yeah, some of us kicking. I caught the Susanville vortex. Oh uh, man! I, I'm not from here. I lived here before, but it sucked me in. But, yeah, uh, yeah. I came back kicking and screaming and crying like a little girl. I did. Yeah. I had to call her Jonah. <laughs> he did. <laughs> I don't want to go. Yeah. No. I did as well. Yeah. I did. I did. And and it it's been fine. I just threw up my hands and just said, "Well, this is the way it is, and this is the way it's supposed to be." But. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Tell me your goals for the coffee house and the women's shelter, if you don't mind. Well, for the women's shelter, um, the goal is to get itself sustaining itself so that it can pull our hands out of it and it's able to run and function on its own. Um, it's a good, it's a good solid program. It's been amazing. And what started it is I was a meth addict here for 12 years. And I left Sacramento. I left here and went to Sacramento, and I didn't come back for years, <laughs> like years, seven years yes. before I, I was led to come back. And um, and I knew that I needed to bring something back to so many things in Lassen County. They send the people who are addicted outside of this community. So when they come back into this community, their triggers are here, but their support systems two hours away in all of our closest communities are pretty much two hours away yeah. so when they come back here it's setting them up in my opinion for failure mm -hmm. because there's no support system so what we're doing is bringing a support system here so that we can help be able to build strength in your sobriety and call on somebody local who's three miles up the road next you know, door yes next door if you're in the house Whoever is there is accessible 24 hours. If you want to get up and drink a cup of tea because you're just missing whoever you left who was mm -hmm. bad for you, then we will get up and do that with you. If you just need someone to run across town and pick you up because you're standing in front of your Connects house, we will do that for you. Mm -hmm. Everybody is available and accessible for that. So if we can just build up our community and try to stomp on that meth head, you know, and do away with it, it would just be such... Yeah, a, a success. That's yeah. really what it is to yeah. bring that to this community. It's so important. Yeah, and when you see success rates like the the <clears throat> the lady that's living in your apartment behind the building here, it it does the heart good. It, it, does. it Yeah, it does yes. the heart good. It, it's another, just another one of our ladies. She has um, almost the full weeks of visitation with her children, and she had none before, mm -hmm. and just got her one year chip two days ago. That is exciting. This, yeah. Those hurdles that got overcome and those obstacles that they pressed through yeah. to be successful yeah. and to celebrate that, that's exciting. That is way cool. And that's why I wanted to talk to you guys as well. I want to get your message out because I really think it's it's a positive, very, very, very positive thing. Mm -hmm. And... Um, anything that you want to add mm -hmm. to that? You've got a lot to add. <laughs> Yeah, um, from observing this, you know, and, and being a part of it, in, in a sense, you know, as far as interaction. But um, I, while you were talking, I just, the, the expression, ordered chaos, yeah. <laughs> comes, is that, uh, it, that yeah. is what it is. And I think that <clears throat> when you restrict and have too much um, control, then people's natural reaction, especially they're coming out of controlling environments in yeah. relationships. Yeah. So why would you add more control, you know, to it? Yeah. And so um, they offer unconditional love. And her other daughter, uh, Elise, is just, you know, was a f the facilitator as well. And she was just phenomenal. I would sit in the class and just So a straight watch. family affair here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And, and it was just 
you know, just a beautiful thing to watch and yeah. how she was so gifted and talented in doing it. Yeah. And she would connect with the other people and you, all of a sudden this dialogue starts and they start getting it and it's re, kind of a rewiring that goes on. Yes. And it's a process. It's not going to happen over overnight yeah. like that. And so um, having that it's uh, potentially like a year program mm -hmm. um, that it gives the, you know, the people that are involved the time to be able to peel back those layers, you know, one at a time. Some go faster, some go slower, but um, they're very patient and unconditioning and, you know, strict when they need to be, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's, and it is, I think, kind of a prototype, you know, of, yes. and unfortunately there's a huge yeah. need. You there know, is a huge there need. There is such a huge need. Yes. <clears throat> and so it, it's a prototype, um, pioneering program that, I've always looked at Susanville as kind of this little petri dish where we have been brought to to be able to try certain things. We're, you know, we've had many conversations. We're not afraid to fail. Yeah. You know, we're, we're risk takers and, you know, opening up a business or opening up a house, uh, starting a ministry, um, having people in the apartment you know, from time to time. Sometimes it was successful and sometimes it wasn't. When Michael when <laughs> Michael was, Jordan was younger, he was told he couldn't play basketball. Yeah, he was cut. In, right. In 10th grade, he was cut. Yes. So you're given a choice at yep. that point. He could have, you know, gave in to that or it could have, you know, yep. fueled his fire, which, which is what it did. Yes. It did. And yes. so um, they're given a choice. You yeah. Know? And so um, the OMG... I've been wanting to do a coffee place for a long period of time, yeah, yeah. and um, casting the vision, you know, Carmen uh, is 100% on board, and so we've been partnering doing this. It's been a slower process, you know, than we, we I, would like, but, you know, we had full-time jobs and, you know, and stuff. And well, getting permits in Lawson County can be a little <clears throat> bit of a struggle at times, yeah, I'm very aware. Um, it can. Um, they've been they've been pretty good to us, um, and so uh, we we can't complain there. We good. Rock the boat. <laughs> good. <laughs> but, uh, we have to get. Yeah. Okay. We have, awesome. We have a final inspection. Yeah. Um, but right now uh, it's coming together, and I I call it lipstick and rouge, where a lot of it is just the cosmetic stuff, yes. and yes. we've been able to uh, you know tap into s some local. Trace people, you know, there's another ministry nearby that have been able to allow someone to come in and use his skills and put a, a few bucks in his pocket and build a relationship. And so um, it's an opportunity for people to, we're hoping, because we're going to tap into local artists and musicians, yeah. um, people that have gifts and talents, and local mm -hmm. writers. We're going to have uh, partnering up with uh, the local bookstore to be able to bring in um, authors, either local or whoever they want to connect with, and have a, you know... A, a so someday when I write book. my book, you, you'll you open the doors to me? I'll have Definitely. a book signing for you here. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's, it's exciting. Somebody donated a piano to us, and so ah. we're going to have live music on Fridays and Saturdays, and they'll be able to till bring midnight. you to... Yeah, mm -hmm. till midnight. You're going to be here till my, midnight, but... <laughs> That's way past my bedtime. Uh, it, it'll be fun. And in fact, uh, while you got here and setting up, somebody came uh, earlier, a young girl. Uh, her name was Kim. And she's like, When are you guys opening? Yeah. And uh, she's, I let her come in. I said, We're opening soon and all that. And um, gave her a little tour. She goes, This is like the coolest place in town. I said, So we got the Kim approval. Well, and you're going to be a little. Uh, more reasonably priced than the local chain we have here in town. Yeah, um, yeah that's our commitment. To, yeah. Is that the coffee and tea drinks and all that are going to be no more than $4. Nothing here. Even and the food will be over $4. We're going to have great product. Mm -hmm. We're tapping into some great product. Um, I also want to do, and I'm familiar with pour overs, so we can individualize. We're going to build racks to where they have the filter and the cup and the individual cup are going to make it to order. So if you want a little stronger or a little lighter or oh, whatever, okay. and it seeps through and it has a nice bold taste. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, so <laughs> I like it coffee. It takes a little bit more time, but it would be worth the wait. But we have comfortable couches yes, and chairs. And it's very Wi-Fi. homey, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's a real common comment we get is people feel it's homey. Yes. You it's walk into, yeah, it looks like a living room. Mm -hmm. you know, it does. With the couch and love seat. Yeah, that, so. yeah. 
and some tables and it's, it's on purpose. Yes. Yeah. Very very good yeah. very good ideas. Yeah, we really we like the way it's turning out. It's really nice. It's not we didn't have a vision. We just knew it was going to happen. And it's been evolving faith. itself. A complete faith. Um, this is going to happen. Yes, <laughs> yes. She's tenacious yeah. and I'm stubborn. Yeah. Perfect. So you, you have to be. You Perfect. To be. Yeah. Oh, that is really so works. awesome. And to part of how this is going to tie into the women's house also, it's, I think it's really important, is um, when you're coming out of a bad situation or recovering from drug addiction or just trying to live a clean and sober life or just got your children back and you're not used to having your kids, you know, so now you have other responsibilities and um, can't be up till midnight doing laundry because you're sleeping at 9 o'clock now. <laughs> you're yeah. awake at those hours. Right. You know, just to learn and to readjust your lifestyle and your boundaries. It's hard to go back into a workplace. So if you can only work two hours... And you have to go home because anxiety is set in or you just can't quite handle the public yet. You can go home without being in fear of losing your job. So you're you know? going to employ women from the shelter yes. here? Oh, that's one of our goals. Yeah, people from, from in, time to time. Yeah. You know, we want to, it's a, a part of the process. And, yes, it is. But also, you know, um, the people that are in the town that need, need jobs. Yes. And, that we mm -hmm. want to be able to <clears throat> open up, you know, businesses as we're able. Right. To, to employ people. That's, again, it, there's the practical stuff that you need yes. to do for yes. community outreach and community transformation. Yeah. My interest is, is arts. You know, I'm doing plays and movies and, you know, independent films and things like that, music, and, and so we want to tap mm -hmm. into doing doing things like that, so having, like, a multimedia film. That's just an interest of mine. And I, so, I, I love it. You, you can teach me how to edit these videos. I do because I don't know <laughs> anything. <laughs> I'm going to pick your brain. Oh, I am, truly. Uh, I I just picked up this this camera in Burns, Oregon, and it just fell. It, it just it just kind of fell into place. So, oh, yeah, total 100% faith. You just mm -hmm. go with it. Go with what you think is right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I'm going to emphasize that most of my uh, people that watch my videos are patriots. Mm -hmm. And so is there anything that you would like to say to the patriots in America? And about your country, anything that you'd like to plug there? Sure. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah. I am. Yeah, sure. Oh, you got a you, you got a whole bunch to say. <laughs> I'm the kinder gentleman. No, uh, no. I, I mean, I love this country. I, I, I always have the good, the bad, the ugly. I, you know, it, we have sustained so much, you know, in our history, and I think you know, um, it's what makes us strong. You know. And the beauty of it is that, um, you know, people will have an opportunity to rise up and be a part of leadership and whether it's a local community or local governments or at the state and federal level. Yeah. And some are good and some are not. And we have a system to, mm -hmm. that, that hopefully can... Checks you know, and balances. Checks and balances, exactly. The, the founders were brilliant. I think, personally, they were divinely inspired. Um, even in, in our history, what how our country came about, you know, not the best of situations. Right. right. But it, it, you can just see that I believe it was God-ordained, um, where it has been this, uh, it has been a beacon on the hill, even if with all its warts and wrinkles, you know. Yes. And it has made an impact in this, this world. Yes. You know, you, that's un, undeniable. Agreed. And, and so um, I love this country. We've had opportunities to, uh, to travel. You know, I go to Africa, and she's been going to Africa uh, on our short-term missions. And um, growing up, traveled all over the world and, and have a, a different perspective. And yeah. you go, uh, you know, appreciation and, you know, for your country. You don't appreciate this country as much until you've traveled mm -hmm. to places as such as Africa. Mm -hmm. And you told me a little bit about your experience over there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I consider Ghana my home away from home. Wow. Um, I fell in love with it. I started going in 2004, just amazing people and the people they've been able to, to serve with and befriend and the, the, the pastor over there, Paul Doe and his wife Angie. Um, I knew Angie from my, my home church. Big shout out for them. Exactly. <laughs> They're awesome. Um, yeah. Center for Africa Missions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Give yeah. them a plug. They will be here in Susanville. Yeah, they, okay. they've been here before. He's preached here, and okay. um, so we're going to get him up here. Just a humble but brilliant man. He's wow. extremely brilliant. Awesome. Very impressive 
impressive leader and they're doing just amazing stuff. So they can go to their, their website, Facebook and Oh, and plug their website. Go ahead. It's Center for Africa Missions, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Center for, for Africa Missions. Africa Pastor Missions. Paul Doe. Awesome. -E. She's from Auburn. Yeah. Angie. Locally. She's, She's local, Auburn. gal. Yeah. yeah, okay. They have four beautiful children. They do. Yeah, so they, they live right uh, on the beach, too. So if anybody <sighs> wants to come join us, you'll have beachfront... Uh, opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> We're not your typical mission group. <laughs> not. Oh, <laughs> that's way you cool. Have, you gotta have some, you know, fun. Some fun. We yes. Do. And they, yes. The last yeah. trip, um, because of what I do as a trainer, um, my old church in, in Roseville started a youth outreach sports center called Lord's Gym. Another plug, sorry. Um, but they just shipped a bunch of equipment over to, to Ghana. And uh, the village that he lives in is Keita. And they opened up a facility. And so I went and they put me to work. <laughs> I, I taught classes. And so I, oh, I, every I, day. I have jokingly say that I'm hated in two continents now. Uh, I, I put them through love boot, it. boot camps. But they have uh, all kinds of great um, equipment now. So it yeah. is another hub. And that's what um, is on my heart is I consider OMG and our ministry as like a hub. Yeah. Where yes. people can come and where revivolution came from, and the picture that I had is you know one of those old wagon wheels. Yes. There's the the middle, the hub that um, everything is attached to, and that's God. And then all these spokes are the different um, facets of society and people mm -hmm. and and their gifts and talents and everything that's made up. And then there's the outside rim, which is the wheel, and you need all three parts to make motion. Absolutely, you do. Yeah. You do. And, and yeah. so. Um, We've come across a lot of, you know, some amazing people, and we're looking forward to meeting a lot more. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. And, and I, I grew up military. <laughs> My too. dad's he retired oh. 35 years from the U.S. Air Force, and um, I've lived all over the world, and I've traveled a lot on my own, and the U.S., I can't ever imagine not living here. Yeah. It's phenomenal, the opportunity that you have here, the just that we have the military that we have. I'm just... Sounds crazy. I'm very, very pro-military. <laughs> so oh, I love my guys. I love my guys. You know, it's just, to me, I think we have a right for all of that. And I believe in all of that. And and even women in the U.S., we have the ability to start something. We have the ability to speak out and have a voice and be radical. You know, and uh, Because we live really in America, as women, yes. we can do that. Yes. Isn't that amazing? And we can drive. And, <laughs> And we vote. Get, yes, and we get to vote, and it's pretty amazing. That's, uh, I love the U.S. <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome plug. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome plug. Anything else that you want to say? Anything deep in your heart? What are you feeling? Um, I don't know. Wait. Who do you, you love? You go. Who do you love? <laughs> I mean, deep in your heart, dig deep. What do you? What? Anything? It's it's this is your story. I really, I, I guess ultimately, I want to see what we're doing. Like you said, like a prototype. I used to like a think tank type of thing. Um, we used to call it a think tank. Yeah. And we're, it's evolved like that in small portions, but yeah. to have this just be global, to be able to take what's going on here and hit. All of these little teeny tiny communities, like mm -hmm. in America, mm -hmm. these little backwood communities. I'm not saying Lassen County is completely backwoods. You know, we do have a 7 Eleven 80 miles away. <laughs> but other than that, hey, we have stoplights. Hey, we got Panda Express. <laughs> we did. Yeah, we do. Yeah. But just to, you know, to hit these little communities that are so cut off from yeah. a mainstream city. Yeah. That um and to build this and this model this prototype and help all of those people honestly at the bottom of it and to have it funded, you know, if that's the hardest part is to have it funded. Good question. If any of the viewers would like to help you somehow, how could they do that? Send donations to. We have a website. Okay. And it's Ministry of Motion eight one two. Okay. Dot com. All right. Ministry in Motion 812.com. And we have a PayPal on there. Okay. And we also have a Facebook page. We do. Mm -hmm. Go check it out. 
Yes. And so the and, and this is my commitment. I just updated yeah. it. <laughs> well, this is my commitment too. Is that I, uh, I'm at where I work. I'm hiring a trainer, but he also is a web page designer and a networker. <laughs> so I am definitely going to tap into his skill set um, and being able to really come up with some some great stuff. So my commitment is to be able to utilize a lot of the social media tools and, and our websites uh, to be able to you know better it, communicate and better reach out. And your Facebook is Ministry in Motion. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ministry in Motion. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's some other ones out there, in Ministry in Motion, um, but ours. Uh, Susanville. S Susanville, but. Okay. <laughs> Susanville. What was the picture on? I'm trying to remember what the picture was. Oh, a red flag. A red. There's you'll a red see Ministry in Motion with the red flag. red flag. That's how you identify you when you're looking on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Cool. The awesome. Yeah. And then it's and it's Ministry in Motion eight one two eight one two dot com and they have PayPal if you want to donate some money that would be awesome because I think this is an, a really good cause and hey they open the doors to us so <laughs> says a lot my yeah. patriot friends says a lot we want to have a place that's open to whoever wants to come in yeah so many people don't have a place to go and just hold like these Constitution classes are great yeah. Mm -hmm. To have them here and well, we less. we looked we looked all over town and um, it's, a lot of people were like, well, you know, we don't want to get involved. It's it's political and and oh, the disgust I get when when people say that I get really disgusted because I, how can you you even actually have the opportunity to tell me no because we have the Constitution and you have all these rights. Yeah. So yeah, anyway. Uh, you opened your doors to us, and we're very grateful. Mm -hmm. You know, and we were turned away by quite a few people, or that wanted to charge us quite a bit. Well, we know how oh. that feels. Yes. <laughs> so you know, when a door opens, yeah. a window was open, or door closed, windows open. Blah blah blah. Yeah. But I mean, it was. It's a blessing. It really yes, is a blessing, are. and you know, we enjoy. Mm -hmm. You know, the people that we meet and um, free exchange of ideas, and we're not afraid. Mm -hmm. You know, of, right. of you know opposing views or mm -hmm. you know. People because I did warn you about uh, posting on my YouTube channel, so you you have been warned. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. speak, speaking of which, when we do open, I just thought of a little promo, is that um, those that view, you know, on YouTube, when you come to Susanville, let us know that you saw the YouTube video and we'll give you a free cup of coffee. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. I'm going to come in here every week and say I saw you on YouTube. <laughs> Didn't we see you? Oh, Love it. Okay, I'm getting a free cup of coffee. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna cut this off because we're, you know, we're at the limit where people get bored, and that's generally about 30 minutes, yeah. and people, you know. But anyway, um, I'm gonna say OMG Coffee House here in Susanville, California. They're right across from Les Schwab, right next door to the car wash. Get your car wash. Come in and get your cup of coffee and say hello to these wonderful folks here. And they're doing an awesome mission for the local community and for the women's shelter and just getting people back on their feet. So if there's anything that you can do to help, uh, again, my Patriot friends, these guys open the doors to us and they're both uh, military brats and such. So, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, and they love our country. And so anyway, this is Rocky Hall signing off. I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And if there's anything that you can do to help, let us know. Thanks and signing off. Bye-bye. <laughs>